Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting, and today I'm doing something a little bit differently. Um, I'm still working through day one of the big picture. However, I saved this video towards the end of the month simply because I am showing you throughout this video how to take those little extra pieces that you may not have used throughout your kit and how to create something else with them and create something maybe your own. Um, so although I am working through the kit, you can imagine me doing this with any sort of Bible journaling entry and using all those kit pieces in um, you know a future page. So as you can only imagine, I am veering towards a vintage kind of vibe with this Bible journaling page. And I loved these papers. They were a little bit distressed and I love this um, tone of green that we have going on here. So I decided to stamp them out using the big idea outline numbers. I love these. They also came out with alpha ones from By the Well for God. So go ahead and check those out. I made the five and the 12 because those are the two numbers that we need to remember as we're looking at the Old Testament. There's five books of the law, um, 12 books of history, then five books of poetry and wisdom, five books of major prophets, and then lastly, 12 books of the minor prophets. So I wanted to remember that. And so I'm working on that first page of Genesis and adding in some papers from my House of Books subscription. So this is like an index of all the towns and cities in the United States. So it's kind of fun because this is like indexing, um, you know, the Old Testament. And so I thought it was cool to have this ledger paper and this index paper from um, the United States. And so that's kind of my thought process as I'm working on this page. I wanted to add a little bit more green to this page. And so I had this mini little library card that was a bonus in the goodie bags this past month from By the Well. And so I decided to use that as a layering piece underneath this bird card that I have. This bird card is actually a vintage business card for a pianist and it had some beautiful greeneries on it. And so I decided to add this wreath shop stamp that is a branch with berries because there are berries in this little card. And so I stamp it down with some black VersaFine ink and then use some embossing powder over it so I could color it in with my Daniel Smith watercolors and keep that color in one place. However, once I stamp it down and heat set it and all, it just seems a little too bold for my cluster and it just wasn't fitting along with it. I think if I would have stamped it in maybe a brown, it would have been better. But in the end, I decide to just scrap it and move my whole cluster to the left hand side of the page and we'll add some um, greenery another way at the end of this video. So anyways, I'm just gonna move everything over. Um, I do try to make it work. As you see here, I glued it down that library card, but you'll see I will end up picking that up so I can move everything over. Now that that branch is covered up, I feel like I'm back on track. So I'm going to start layering everything and making sure that it works well again. I will glue that down. I did use one of the We Are Memory Keepers spiral punches to punch the top of that library card just to add some more texture to this page. And then I will start gluing down these numbers. Now I'm only gluing down the number five for right now because I will actually put the 12 on some foam adhesive. That way it kind of separates it from the five um, as they are layering on top of one another. Now you know me, I love texture. And so I am deconstructing one of the bow clippies from this past month and I will just tear it apart a little bit and then layer it with some silk ribbon I have, which I'm going to cut little triangles outside the edges. And then ultimately I will actually put that on some lace as well. The more layers and texture for me, the better. However, this does add quite a bit of chunk in my Bible. And so if that's not for you, obviously don't do it. I do get a good amount of entries in each Bible that I do, probably about 50 to 60. Um, I know that doesn't seem like a lot for each Bible, um, but with how much chunk and you know texture I put into each page, it is quite a bit, um, but just letting you know, it does add that kind of layering amount in. 
the legs seemed a little bit wide for this section and so instead of just cutting a quarter of it off and leaving it off I decided to cut the whole lace in half and layer it so therefore I still have that top and bottom portion of the lace and the pretty little scalloped area so I'll start gluing down those fabrics but before I glue down the bow clip fabric I will sew on two buttons these two buttons were included as an extra or texture in this past kit and so I loved adding them to this page. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm running pretty low on my Fabri-Tac glue. It's making it a little difficult to get the glue out of the bottle, so I need to run to the store to grab some more before I need to use it again. Um, but now that everything is glued down in this cluster, I'm working on the main portion of this page, and that is adding the little groupings and how the Old Testament is separated out with law, poetry, wisdom, major prophets, and then we have um, the minor prophets and the history. Um, so I am adding all those labels. These are just Dymo label maker um, labels that I created beforehand and I will add this 12 down with some foam tape. I have found if you want your foam tape to have a curve in it, the best thing to do is to take that second backer paper or protective paper off and then you just, you know, have to deal with kind of the stickiness, but it does curve a lot better if you take that off before you try to make that foam tape curve. Now, originally I thought I would be done after adding this 12 down and my date stamp. However, I do mess up on my date stamp and have to fix it with a Micron pen. Micron pens are amazing um, to just fill in those little pieces of date stamp that don't necessarily stamp perfectly. Um, but after looking at this, I decide I do want that greenery element. And so I decide to grab my 49 and market acetate pieces and I'm just going to lift it up, um, lift that little corner up of that piano piece and stick it in. I will add some glue in there to hold it as well. And then I also want to add some splatters. And so I take my um, Daniel Smith watercolors from this past kit and just add a couple of splatters across the page to add some aging. And then this page will be complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas on how you can use those extra little pieces from a kit in future Bible journaling pages. I will try to link everything I used down below in the description and I hope you have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas.